wake up time. <laughs> wake your punk ass up. Damn. I was like, he's brought the production value up here, but no, no, no. What? God damn. What? Uh, how, 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 how dare you? Okay. Australia's worse off on the world stage by the fact that this guy is on the Spotify charts, I tell you. It, it was going so well. I had such <laughs> high hopes for you. I'm gonna pass over to Dennis. You're an I, engineer. I felt this right. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if I got this off someone off the street selling their CD for like five quid. Oh, how do I stop it? This, this is, this is crazy. Hello and welcome to the first episode of Getting Quizzy With It, where we're going to find out who's got the biggest brain of the record players. Our first contestants are... Paddy and Dennis, they've each got a unique buzzer that they'll be using to chime in and answer the questions. So Dennis, what do you sound like? There you go. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah, I <laughs> got the beginning at least. All right, Haddy, what do you sound like? All right. Lovely. Okay, so you're going to have 30 seconds on most of the rounds to answer your questions. Whoever buzzes in first will get a chance to answer. If that person gets it wrong, it will be thrown over to the other person for a chance to steal the points. If they get it correct, they will get a point added to their tally. Sounds good. Let's go for it. Ready to kick some haddy ass. Get your cock out of my face. Keeping my cock away from your buzzer. All right. So, don't worry, it's not a question yet. So here are the four rounds that we're going to have for today's show. We're going to have fantastically named Weapon of Choice, Whole Lot of Lists, Hit Me With Your Best Shot, and In The End. Each of them will have a different spin that's somewhat related to a lyric that I managed to turn into a pun. Uh, some of them are more related to others because it's surprisingly difficult. If you've got any, uh, if you've got any suggestions, comments below, please. I need them for next time. <laughs> Please. So, My creative juices are spent. <laughs> we're going to start off with Weapon of Choice. So we're going to ask some multiple choice questions about different styles of music in this round. Weapon of Choice, here we go. Okay, which of these artists is a sole originator? I heard Hattie first. Sole originator. Uh, I'm going to go with Ray Charles. Although... Is correct. Oh. It is Ray Charles. So, which score are you? You're school one. All right. Lucky guess. <laughs> <laughs> one point for Hattie. All right, let's go. Question two. Get your buzzers ready. Which of the following is a key effect in rock music? God damn it. I misspelt the word following, but that's fine. Uh, distortion. 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 Let's see if you're correct. Of course it is. One point for Hattie. Commanding someone, lead already. Someone had a coffee th this morning. Dennis, you got to pull it back. You got three more questions in this round. In reggae, the skanking emphasis of chords on beats two and four lands on the offbeat. A. We'll go with the offbeat from Dennis. I didn't hear your buzz. Put the buzzer up to max. All oh, right. Yeah, we'll do. Then Sorry. Yeah. Of course right. it is. The offbeat is off the blocks. We've got a proper competition now. 2-1. All right, two more questions left in this round. In 1983, a pioneer of rap changed the game with his next decade. What was the event? That's a Hattie. Uh, yeah, that's Africa Bambata. I'm sure. I'm going to throw it over to Dennis. That's the incorrect answer, Hattie. Hmm. In 1983... A pioneer of rap changed the game for the next decade. What was the event? So you're thinking, what happened to 1983 to 93? I'm going to go with C, Ice-T, because I don't think the Fugees were around in 1983. And C, Ice-T... <laughs> is the correct oh, yeah. answer sparking the east-west battle that would last through the next decade interesting i'm learning some stuff 
Okay, final question in this round. Style of folk music. Heavy influence on early reggae. You heard Dennis. Oh, sorry, I heard Hattie. What's your answer, Hattie? Mento? Let's see if you're right. Of course it is Mento. Mento. Style yeah. of music heavily reliant on guitars and other stringed instruments that would later go on to uh, to be popular in reggae, as well as banjos because of its uh, close proximity to America, particularly mm. southern states. Yeah. A no lot way. of people think Calypso, but that's uh, not got as much in common with reggae as Mento does. Banjo is a West African instrument, right? Uh, originally, yeah, yeah. Did so not know that. Sense. Makes sense they would come over to the Caribbean then. Yeah, did not know that, but that ain't no question, bitch. <laughs> and no points for you. Bonus points. I'll put. A, I'll give you a point five for that. Yes. What point five of a hundred per question? Yeah. <laughs> point five of a one per question. Half an ass kissing point. I'll take it. I mean, I was gonna say beggars can't be choosers, but you're both doing. Uh, you're both doing pretty well. That point five is gonna be very, very annoying when I uh Tally it up, yeah. When I go through and add the points for each round. Okay. So yeah. Somehow out of uh out of five we've ended that round, uh the score being three mm -hmm. to two point five to Hadi. So here, in whole lot of lists, this is the how many can you name round. So you're gonna get a prompt mm. and whoever comes up with the most answers that fulfill that prompt in the 30 seconds that we give you is going to be the winner of that round. We still buzzing in? Uh, no, so you'll get the full 30 seconds this time. And then I said minutes before, it's seconds. You get 30 seconds. After that 30 seconds is complete, we'll come to both of you for a list to just say how many items you've got. And we'll do a countdown uh, style. We'll check you. whoever's got the most. I got you. Your first prompt. In 30 seconds, who can name the most? Electric instruments. Do I write it down? Yeah, write it down somewhere. We'll have to ask you for them later on. Yeah, okay. Ten seconds. All right, that's your time up. Dennis, how many did you have? Four, including triangle. <laughs> the electric triangle sounds like the most dangerous instrument I've ever heard of. 100%. How, do you, how many do you I've, have? I've got, I've got four, excluding the triangle. So I think that <laughs> technically counts as more. Okay, Paddy, which are yours? Uh, so I just thought of, yeah, obviously electric guitar, mm -hmm. uh, keyboard slash synth, yep. uh, drum machine, uh, and uh, a theremin. <laughs> Don't know why that came to mind. <laughs> it's the theremin! Before it's, it's the picture, it was the, yeah, the picture you had just made yep. me think of theremins. Fair enough, yeah, all right. Okay. Points go to Hattie for this round, uh, for this question. Dennis, what were your answers? I might end up getting disqualified for a few of these, so I've got <laughs> guitar... Oh. Keyboard, violin, and cello. Now, Apocalypto you is can... all I'll say. Yeah. Basically, electric uh, strings. They exist. They exist. They do indeed. Uh, and I got. I would have had five, but I. I had theremin in my head. So yeah, we were along the right lines. On the along the same lines, they had the only electric instruments. <laughs> yeah, exist <laughs> clearly the theremin, triangle, and the viola. Obviously. All right. Hattie's got something to fear next round. Now that Dennis knows he needs to write it down straight away. He doesn't have that 10 second advantage that he had last time. Okay, question number two. As many Wu-Tang members as you can name. Okay. If both our contestants have opted for the pen and paper method. 10 seconds left. Two, one, that's your time. Dennis, how many do you have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Hattie, how, how many did you have? Uh, I can do nine, and I think they originally had nine members, right? So I think I can do them all. I think they had eight, and then they got Capadonna and uh, no, a few no, more. And... No, no, I'm talking about OGs. I'm not talking about affiliates. I can do them all. Okay. Yeah. 
Go for uh, it. Haddy, we'll test you first then. You say you got nine, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go for it. So, yeah, I'm, I'm talking about Enter the Wu-Tang original nine, yeah? So I got Rizza, Jizza, Ghostface, You God, Method Man, Inspector Deck, All Day Bastard, Master Killer, and Raekwon. Bam! Nine. Nice. <laughs> Very nice indeed. <laughs> I love how uh, you started off as the second verse of of Method Man. Inspector, that's how you learn. It's like the ABCs of uh, <laughs> New York gangster rap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, well done. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Addy taking a commanding lead now. Double Dennis's points. You got to step up your game, Dennis. You're gonna start taking this back. Okay. Question number three. As many four string instruments as you can name. I've tried to, in my answers, include some I didn't think you'd think of. There's a lot, unsurprisingly. Last 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Okay. Dennis, how many do you have? One, two, three, four, five. I thought you were going to say one then. I was <laughs> your true <laughs> bass player. Electric bass and nothing else. <laughs> uh, Haddy, how many do you have? Uh, yeah, I think he's got me a bit this time. I got four. Four that I could four. write down. Four, all right. Dennis, what are your what are your instruments? Okay, I got electric bass and, and double bass as two separate things. Yep. yep. Uh, violin, banjo, and cello. Nice. I, I got to fact check this. Hang on, is banjo five string? Banjo could be you, five. Yeah, you get sure five and that. four strings. Okay. You get both, yeah. Huh. Any uh, any additions to that, Hadi? Um. Yeah. Let me double check. Uh, bass, banjo. Uh, I think I the only other one I put in was ukulele. Yeah. Uke. Nice. Yeah, yeah. So you could have had uh, electric bass, violin, viola, cello, double bass, banjo, ukulele, an oud or tambora, mm. uh, which are I think Greek and definitely Indian instruments, uh, and a billion other folk instruments from other cultures that I wasn't going to list because there's no way you guys would have come up with it. But there's a lot I found out when I looked into it. All right. Dennis, taking it back. Keeping yeah. it competitive. Yeah. But the slightly misnamed number one the Michael Jackson album. The many beloved tracks. How many tracks off this album can you name? They're mostly number ones. But they're not all number ones. So as many Michael Jackson songs as we can. Pretty much. You've got like 12 okay. seconds left, Dennis. Shit. Three, two, one. Dennis, how many did you get? I got three. Three. To be fair, you started writing at twelve seconds, so I'm not really <laughs> surprised at that. Haddy, how many did you have? I've got I've got a safe four and an ambitious five. I've got, four a, I've got to get a final answer from you. Okay. What do you go so, with? Okay, so guaranteed four, what, that four, are you choosing four or five before we go uh, any further? I won't risk it. I'll go with four, because I'm ahead already. Yeah. All right. Yeah. What's your four then, Haddy? My four would be uh, Beat It, Billie Jean, Thriller, and Don't Stop Till You Got Enough, or Get Enough, however you say it. They are all on the album. Uh -uh. I had to double check. It's quite a long set list. Points to Hadi, taking us to six to 3.5, which means we have if... one question <laughs> left in this round. Can... Let me check if mine... Yep. I got Girl Is Mine and Wanna Be Starting Something. Were they were they on there? I don't think so. You you go to the girl is mine, the Paul McCartney <laughs> duet. That's such a that's such like a random choice. It's the first thing that popped into my head, to be honest. <laughs> they are not there. Ah, oh, would have put, yeah, wouldn't have got are. it anyway. I yeah. don't think I, n neither of them are there. Dennis hates Thriller. Okay, Thriller was number one. <laughs> so oh, aside from mine, yeah, 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 my bad. <laughs> Some more uh, obscure knowledge will help you with the final question in this round. You're looking for the top 10 physical selling singles of all time. So okay. whatever you think has sold the most physical copies yeah. of all time. Damn. So ignore downloads, anything like that. It's records, uh, LPs, EPs, CDs, Floppy discs, if they're sure. music on it. But, Mini but this discs. is this is single single tracks, single Singles. CDs, not yep, yep. albums. Not albums, got single it. tracks. Okay, right. got it. And your ah. time starts now. 
remember back to being an HMV, what was on their all time bestsellers. 10 seconds left. That's it. So this I think will come down to whether somebody's got one of them at all. So Dennis, <laughs> how many do you have? I got two. Ooh, two, all right. Hadi, how many do you have? Uh, yeah, two. De Dennis can go because I'm, yep. I'm in the lead. Oh, what a gentleman. <laughs> what a, what so a, is, he the, is he the good sportsmanship or a backhanded compliment there, Dennis? Bit of right. I'll take the backhanded compliment. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Dennis. What are you right, I've got All I Want for Christmas by Mariah Carey. Oh, yeah, Christmas. That's a good, a good shout. Gotta go People for the Christmas. Love song. buying them Christmas singles, yeah. Surprisingly, no. What? What was All your right. other guess? Where is the love by the Black Eyed Peas? Very strange choice. I'm not even going to have to look. That's a no. It's definitely <laughs> not on there. Dude, it was number one for like <laughs> weeks was. and weeks. It was, but I don't think anyone bought it on CD. Uh, that was that was like post Livewire. Everything was online at that point. And Elephant was too strong. You're going to go for the full album, I guess. So. I mean, I I have them on CD. I've got the album and the single on All CD. Right. But I'm a fucking weirdo. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Paddy, if you get any one of the top ten right, yeah, I well, so I didn't actually realize we were supposed to name the tracks as well, but I can do that or I can give it a go. Uh, let's go for <sighs> Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen. It's a nope on that one. <sighs> Fuck. Okay. All right. One more artist. I haven't thought of a track yet. Let me think. Let's go for. Oh, God, this is hard. I don't know. Uh, all, all you need is love by the Beatles. No, hey, hey Jude by the Beatles. Uh, uh, a much better guess in terms of artist, mm. but it's still a no. I can tell you. Uh, what's the list? What's the so yeah? Oh uh, yeah. According to Wikipedia, uh, the top ten: Bing Crosby, A White Christmas. You were on the right lines with Christmas tracks, but the wrong one. Yeah. Uh, Elton John, Candle in the Wind, nineteen ninety-seven. Oh uh, yeah. Hit the nation's heartstrings. Everyone was still buying CDs in 1997. That, yeah. that sweet spot. Uh, is, this, Mondo... is this ascending order? Is this from? I think it's decent. Yeah, from from one to ten. Yeah, I think. Okay. I can't remember which order I did it in. Uh, number three, Mungo Jerry in the summertime. Absolute classic. No chance. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you'd never guess of it. Uh, number four, Whitney Houston. I will always love you. Of course. Yeah. Uh, number five. Bill Haley and his comets rock around the clock. Just uh, uh, the most classic example yeah. of whitewashing there's ever been in music. <laughs> Bill Haley and the comets. Uh, yeah. Oh well, followed by the other one, of course. Number six, Elvis Presley. It's now or never. Number seven, USA for Africa. We are the world. There we go. There. Any uh, any charity entries would have been a good guess. Uh, and next one, the Ink Spots at number eight. If I don't care, if I didn't care. Never heard of that. No idea. But apparently it's a banger. Yeah. Number nine is Bakara. Yes, sir, I can boogie. So either that advert with the little what? horse came out and everyone went and bought CDs, or it was just an absolute smash hit in the uh, 70s. And finally, oh, wait, where are we? Finally, Celine Dion, My Heart Will Go On. Yeah. If you get a big uh, movie, uh... I can grab you. All right. No points for the final question. Uh, I debated giving it to whoever Tough. was closest, but uh, we didn't have an artist or anything like that, so I would yeah, just singles pull is an answer hard, out of my ass. Singles is very hard. So, new round. You have to work out who I'm talking about from the hints on the screen. I'm going to read them oh, out so, yeah. when you get there as well, so... Either read it or listen to me. Buzz in when you know the answer. Uh, the track released in 1972 by a beloved blind pianist was their first number one since 1963. Mm. I'm going to have to push you for an answer. Addy? Uh, is it uh, Superstition, Stevie Wonder? Having a quick Google because I've written the artist and not the... Have you got the wrong blind pianist? 
<laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay. No, I, I, maybe I, only, I do. Yeah. I only read the Charles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good point. So yeah, Haddie, that is correct. A... Points to Haddy there. I, I could use proper mm -hmm. points, but yeah, I'll take <laughs> No. Okay. This famous you, yeah. New York rapper, son of jazz musician Ola Daru, Dara, has released 12 studio albums, excluding any collaborative <laughs> projects. Or oh, Haddy? Yeah, that's Nas, man. Come on. It is, of course, Nas. Give that to you. You're going to test me on old Wu Tang members. Your Can't boy, get me out with nasty a Nas. Nasty Nas. <laughs> Eight to 3.5. Dennis is being left in the dust since the early game. Do I even have a chance of coming back here? Yes. If you win the entire last round and a couple of these, you're a shoe in. Okay. All right. This wild animal with a musician has 10 studio releases to his credit. A line of amp simulating software helped popularize a new form of progressive music, progressive heavy music, and graduated from the Atlanta. Ask Dennis. Osin Abassi. Let's double check. Of course it's Tosin Abassi, yeah. the Animals as Leaders frontman. I thought that, but it was like 10 albums. I, I he wasn't... has 10 albums. Yeah, he's been yeah, in a few bands. Yeah, that's surprising. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, the, the comeback begins. Next question. This composer sold the most CDs of 2016, technically, beating out artists like Adele, Drake, and Beyonce. Their last original piece was being worked on in 1971 in Vienna. I heard Dennis first. Mozart? Let's find out. It is, of course, Mozart. Nice. He, uh, he won because his album that sold loads was a collection of his works that was 200 CDs long. So every time someone bought one, it counted as 200 sales. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, Technicality. Classic double album boost. True, yeah. Okay. This country has the most metal bands per capita with 53.3 bands per 100,000 people. Second place is a tie between Norway and Sweden and the UK has only 5.2 per 100,000. That's Dennis. Finland? Duck! Let's see if it's Finland. Of course it's Finland. Oh, nice. Absolutely loony people in Finland. Oh, final round in the end. It's all to play for with only two and a half technically, but really three points difference. Although, if you guys draw, Dennis technically wins because he's got a point five buffer. Half. Yeah. Ooh. It's fucking unless half can, point, man. Unless you can come it's with bullshit. some interesting facts about uh, about folk instruments, Haddy. Okay, so in the end... It's a good old-fashioned finish the lyrics. Uh, I've picked some popular songs. In future episodes, nice. I'm going to challenge you guys a bit more with some ludicrous lyrics. He's uh, going to get me with this because he listens to lyrics more than me. I know it. Actually, I don't. I, I read lyrics more than you do, but I, <laughs> I find it really hard to hear lyrics. All right. It's, uh, he's, he's humble and an intellectual. <laughs> Okay, let's get started. Question number one. Because this is Thriller, Thriller Night, and no one's going to save you, Haddy. Uh, Beast. Let's see. It is, of course, Beast from the Beast that's about to strike. Okay. Still all to play for. I feel like anyone who isn't Lewis Hamilton in Formula One right now. <laughs> I was working part-time at a five and dime. My boss was Mr. Blank from Prince's Raspberry Beret. Oh, man. You're not a true fan if you don't get it, Haddy. It's never been one of my Prince favourites, this one. You got to prove it now. Nut up or shut up. I don't know. Oh, I heard Dennis there. Wild guess. Grime? I can tell you it's not Mr. Grime, no. <laughs> I see what you did. I see what you... Yeah, yeah, Sorry, I see what you did. Rhyme. Yeah, Mr. Yeah, Rhyme. No. All right, I'm going to pass it over to Haddy. Haddy, I'm going to need a quick answer in about two seconds' time. I don't know. Uh, my boss was uh, not a nice man. 
I don't I don't know this one. This is one oh, of the gaps in my mind of Prince I, Orange. I'm sorry. I feel let down by both of my contestants today. It's Mr. McGee. He told him several times that he didn't like his kind because he was a bit too leisurely. It rhymes with the next. It the does, next yeah. Stanza. That's why it took me a second to work out why he'd gone with grime. I thought you were just like you'd been cleaning a kitchen before the show and you were just like still in that spraying down worktops frame of mind. All right, no points. No points. This is the deciding question whether a dentist can still win or not. Sin City's cold and empty. No one's around to blank me. From Dennis's favorite artist. Oh. Sin City's cold and empty. No one's around to. Well, I hear Haddy. This is going to be a guess again. Is it see me? It's not see me. I'm going to let the buzzer go out. Uh, let the timer go out for uh, for Dennis to buzz in. Drive me. <laughs> <laughs> he needs a designated driver, does he? No one's around to judge me. Is the uh, lyric I was looking for, Dennis? Oh, man. See, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking to see me as in like, oh, I can be my own person. But I, yeah, I just fucked it up. Yep, that was, that was the on. meaning, but not the correct lyric. Yeah. All right. I'm going to take my horse to the old town road. I'm going to ride till I blank, blank, blank. <laughs> I heard Dennis first. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that. I'll give you, I'll give you another guess. Right, I'll push you for I, an answer. Till something comes home. Till my... No, I know it. Uh, I can't pass. Fuck. Pass. All right. Go after Haddy, uh, you know it? It's. It, I hate that I know this, but it's. I'm going to ride till I can't no more. Let's see if you're right. Yeah, that's the one. Fuck. Of course it is. The smash hit. I'm going to ride till I can't no more. I'm just too hipster for that question. That's the problem. <laughs> is it? <laughs> <laughs> Little Dennis X. <laughs> no, like, like I proved I'm pretty bad at pub quizzes anyway. All right, I'll give you the timer for this as well because it's broken. So, sassy, moody, blank. Addy? Maybe not sure on the order, but I think it's classy. I'm going to give the rest of the timer to Dennis. Oh, savage? You've gone with savage. I was looking for nasty. Oh, damn. I'm afraid no points to either of you there for our final question. Oh, no, winner is. Our oh, winner is with a score of 10 points. Paddy! <laughs> Congratulations to Dennis. He gave it a good shot. Uh, ended 6.5. Above above 50% of, uh, of Haddy's score. I think it was out of 20. So somehow four questions got absolutely no points for anybody. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know. Next time I need to... Uh, the adjust bar. the level that we we're, we're, we're pitching to yeah, but, yeah. Howdy. can't name Bing Crosby's uh, back catalogues of singles <laughs> sorry thank you everybody for joining us oh, our first episode of <laughs> getting quizzy with it this is what <laughs> happens when you try and try and That's produce fun. thanks for putting post. it together Jack yeah it was good no worries we will hopefully be back before too long with another episode but next week We'll be reviewing the new album from King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard called LW. Presumably a partner to KG that we've mm. reviewed with <laughs> somehow an album in between then and now. Uh, we're, not, we're not we're not an exclusive King Gizzard review podcast. They just release so many damn albums. We could be though. <laughs> It'd be good. You know, you you'd, you'd, have to be a full time job. Audience. So. Yeah. You'd get to release a podcast once every two months as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Thank you everybody very much for joining us. If you liked it, give us a like, give us a subscription. If you didn't like it, give us a dislike. You know, come at me. If you've got any other names I could use for rounds, any suggestions for questions or rounds or anything like that, drop them in the comments below and let us know. Other than that, we'll see you next week. Peace. Peace. Later. Thank you.